In TNT, we don't like to waste words, so we shorten some sentences. For example, the word WAPEN, W-A-R-P-E-N, means what is the matter, as in WAPEN to you, boy. And WAPNIN means what's going on, as in if you know WAPNIN to me. If somebody uses the word ETANON, it simply means there isn't any. For example, I know you came for mangoes, but ETANON. The word gobide means will attend, as in the big event coming up next week, I go be day, plenty people go be day, you go be day. And yastan means do you understand? However, it's a rhetorical question, so you don't have to respond. Yastan. We also have some word endings that we use for emphasis like a what, as in you're crazy a what. The word Dizer means that is a, as in Dizer big tune boy. And Isa means I am a, as in Isa big man, you know. In TNT, a mad bull is not a raging male cow, it's a kite. And for anyone who is visually impaired, don't get excited if somebody says, hit me and you will see. Please don't hit them because you will see trouble. The word nah has different meanings depending on how you use it. Example, it may mean a straight no, as in, do you want some water? Nah. If it is stretched out and repeated, that emphasizes disbelief, as in, nah, boy, you really do that? Nah, nah, nah. If it's used at the end of a sentence, it could be a dare, as in, talk now, now, or hit me now. Or as an encouragement to do something, example, do it for me now. If somebody says to you, say what, you don't have to say what. It simply means, so be it, as in, say what. And certain words, we have our own pronunciation because it sounds nicer like half past one, child, children, accept, respect and ask a question. The word in changes if it is used at the end of a sentence. For example, you can have incoming as opposed to coming in. If someone says they'll be traveling, it doesn't mean that they will be getting on a plane and come to your country. It simply means that they will be taking public transportation like a maxi or a taxi or a bus. And they may use a private public mode of transport called a pika, which is not the same as a picker, which can choke you or joke you. And if you get into that pika and they ask you which part you're going, which part simply means what is your destination. And if somebody get licked down, it has nothing to do with the tongue, though they might get licked down in tongue. It means they got hit by a moving vehicle. And if you're going to the crazy, please don't look for a street sign beginning with Q. It's spelled C-R-O-I-S-E-E. -E. Sounds crazy, eh? And where it's located depends on how refined you are because it's either in San Juan or Sawa. And not too far from there, we also have one place with two names. It's either Lavantil or Lavanti. Oh, and if someone tells you that they're going to come back, it doesn't mean that they're going somewhere just to turn around and come back. It simply means that they don't intend to stay for very long. And if you go somewhere and you're not welcome, they will ask you, where are you coming going? And someone giving you directions can actually tell you to go straight around the corner. And you may have to cut down some streets and swing across others. Down here, if someone asks, how are you going? You don't have to explain your mode of transportation. That's just a greeting. It means, how are you? Uh, but that doesn't mean you have to explain your situation. Your answer should be, I all right, or poke a poke, no beef. And don't get confused if somebody asks you, what are you saying? Even if you're not saying anything, that's just a greeting too. Now, if a woman says to you, you lie, she's not accusing you of telling untruths. It's an expression of great surprise as in, you lie, or for truth, or we, sir. 
And if someone says a lie, it's not a confession. It simply means I made a mistake in the story, as in, he had on a green shirt. No, 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 a lie. It was a blue shirt. And the expression, or oh, whore, has three meanings. One is when you finally understand, as in, or oh, whore, that is what you mean. Or secondly, when a person makes the right decision after contemplating the wrong one, as in, or oh, whore. I thought you were going to do something stupid. And thirdly, when you realize that you can't change a person's mind as in, oh, oh, so that is how it is. Now, our climate makes clothes shrink because clothes always get too small for us. And even shoes just get too small for our feet too. And talking about small, don't get confused and think that people asking you if you're going through a small space when they ask you if you're getting through. That means, are you being served or are you making progress? A lime down here is sweet, not sour, especially if you have it with good friends. A calypso tent is not made of tarpaulin. And soca doesn't mean to wet the lady with a bucket of water. It's a type of music. Parang doesn't mean you missed a call from your grandfather. It's a type of music too. And jamu has nothing to do with jam or cows. That too is a type of music. And speaking of cows, if you see a man looking all forlorn and spaced out and someone says he has tabanka, it's not that his car was repossessed by the bank. And if people say it's because he gets horn, don't look at his forehead. You won't see anything there. It simply means that his wife was unfaithful to him. And Tutul Bay is not a place where you can go by boat. In TNT, you could big up somebody or you could fight them down. You could run up your mouth or your body could be run down. If your shop close up for too long, then it closed down. You could bounce up a friend, but don't get bounced down. Now, the word thing can be used as a substitute for any word that you can't remember, as in, I'm trying to remember the thing that they used to make the thing now. Because the thing, that wasn't the thing that they used to make when they started making the thing. It's the other thing that was the thing. Down here, the word real doesn't mean real. It just means plenty, as in, it had real people in town today, boy. And for the British folks, polori it's not a van being towed by a wrecker. It's a local street food. Further, my friend, just as in your country, you can eat one pear. In Trinidad, you can eat one doubles <laughs> with slight pepper. And we have a fruit when it's green, it's called a green fig. And when it's ripe, it's a banana. Also, we know that the plural of bread is bread. That's in one bread, two bread. But in TNT, we have breads. That is your good friend or your partner, who is also your horse. And although they have never seen his passport, every Trinbegonian will tell you that God is a Trini. And down here, you can have one mice and one teeth, <laughs> and that's the whole tooth. Now, there's a whole lot more, you know, but I'll leave that for next time. You understand?